When he was just 11, Gilles de Roche returned from a camping trip and told his father his scout leader had tried to touch him inappropriately. His father reported it to Scouts Canada, who had the man expelled. But in the decades that followed, no one knew the extent of abuse Gilles had suffered, something he finally revealed in full to his father only months before he killed himself nearly two years ago. I remember taking that picture. He was happy that day. He just loved it when you went in the pool. Now his daughter and former wife are suing Scouts Canada for damages, alleging the assault was at the root of Gilles' lifelong struggle with depression. Oh, look. They expected Scouts might push back, but never expected this. I just say, why me? Why? Why? That's all I could say, why? Scouts Canada in turn sued Jill's elderly parents for not getting their son counseling all those years ago when he first hinted something had happened. What would they want? What do they want? They want money? I don't have any. And I said, relax. The That's family's everything. lawyer says the suing grieving parents is a cynical ask. legal move. To take these people when they're at their lowest um, and basically kick them while they're down for really no purpose in their particular case. Contacted by CBC News, Scouts Canada faulted its insurer, which says the suit never should have been filed and has been dropped, adding, we view this approach as completely inappropriate and we are deeply sorry that it was taken. We have apologized to the family and put processes in place to ensure that this does not happen again. Susan Vela has represented several people who've sued large organizations such as school boards over sexual assault claims. She says, Third-party suits targeting parents are a growing trend by organizations and their insurers looking to minimize their financial damages. She says the real damage may be the effect on survivors. Because it sends a chilling effect to victims of sexual abuse that they could be risking exposing their innocent parents. DeRoche says he appreciated the call from scouts. The threat of a pending lawsuit had been rough. He phoned and he... He said, I just phoned to tell you that I, I was, I apologized for what you and your wife that you went through. After their son died, the DeRoches learned their son's former scout leader was later convicted of sexually assaulting several boys in other provinces. He was released from jail in the late 1990s. Diana Swain, CBC News, Toronto.